an unlikely relationship between the logging industry and conservationists is helping to save wildlife in the Republic of Congo. Natural habitat in the forests of the Gualugu Triangle are being lost at an alarming rate. The region is in the Republic of the in the north of the Republic of Congo on the border of Central African Republic and Cameroon. The remote 260 square kilometer area forms part of the Nuable Ndoku National Park. John Hendren traveled to the to look at whether a forest can provide economic benefit while still being home to endangered wildlife. The lush tropical forests of Central Africa are shrinking. In the past few decades, the machinery of the logging industry has slowly rolled into one of the most isolated areas on the planet, home to endangered chimpanzees and gorillas. As each day brings more lumber from the pristine woodlands, conservationists from the Wildlife Conservation Society and Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo are working to save these untouched woodlands. And they're doing it by working with an unlikely ally logging companies themselves. If wildlife is going to exist, particularly in countries with a lot of very poor people, uh, a lot of the wildlife in the world, the richest wildlife in the world, the most biodiverse areas, are often in the areas with the most marginalized, poorest people. And we have to find a way to balance their needs with the needs of the wildlife. Instead of clear-cutting whole forests, the biggest logging company in the Republic of the Congo is voluntarily limiting the number of trees it cuts per hectare. And that's paying off in northern Europe and the U.S., where buyers and even some governments now demand wood from still prospering forests. Sustainability, we believe, can be a good business. You can sell that as a premium product, yeah. too. You can sell it as a premium. In the Amazon basin and parts of Asia, logging has gone on intensively for decades. But here in Central Africa, that only picked up at the turn of the century. And conservationists hope that by using sustainable logging practices, companies will be able to log here for decades. The problem is only about 15% of the forest being logged is certified as sustainable. Some wildlife officials remain skeptical. In theory, sustainable use and sustainable development are possible but only under rare circumstances where adequate measures and scientific and monitoring take place. There are very few places where it's carried out well, but in theory it's possible. But there's new reason to believe that, at least here in the Congo, it's working. The nonprofit Forestry Stewardship Council certifies logging operations as sustainable if they can show the forest can sustain the trees, wildlife, and the local people. We still have wildlife, big great apes and elephants, where there is FSC certified companies close to a national park. So yes, it's, it's working. The Forestry Stewardship Council predicts that as customers increasingly demand wood from forests that keep growing, the number of logging operations they can call sustainable will grow too. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Pokola, Republic of the Congo. Let's get these